have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Hey y'all, today I'm excited. So I made an impulsive purchase on Amazon, right? And I basically brought what I'm gonna call a melt in the box, right? And basically it's a little kit and it's supposed to make your wig lay. Like everything's supposed to come in one kit. I spent, I believe, $18.99. I might include a screenshot, I don't know. But basically you get your two little melt bands, little edge brushes, edge control. Then you get a wax stick for your hair, glue remover, the lace glue itself, and it's supposed to be waterproof. And last but not least, you get the lace tint mousse. So this is supposed to be the secret, right? So we're going to try this out today and see how it works. Okay, so you see Miss Thane right there? We about to install her and see how the... Okay, so you see Miss Thane right there? We are gonna install her and see if this milk kit, milk, milk, melt, it can't <laughs> actually work. I don't know, I don't think I gave her a name. We gonna call her Miss Nameless right now after I install her. We'll see what her name is. That's probably why I can't think of her name now. So I already washed her. I did a silicone mix and what is it? Adore Crystal Clear. Is it a rinse? Rinse dye, semi-permanent rinse dye, whatever it's called. And this is how my hair look. Look really nice. It's still like a little, little damp, but not too bad. I kind of blow dried her too. Usually I don't do that, but this is how she looks. Okay, y'all. So I'm going to try to be as detailed as possible and not skip over anything. And I want to start off with my wig cap. So I love, love, love this wig cap because... It's my complexion. Well, not my complexion, but as close as I'm going to get, at least that I found. If y'all know anything else or anything better, comment it below. But anywho, this is it right here. So you can go to your local beauty supply. They should have it. At least mine do. And yeah, that's how it looked. That's the brand. Okay, so you already know what to do. How we going to start off? You going to pull that wig cap over them ears. Voila. Okay, so next we are going to poke holes. Okay. <laughs> that ain't gonna work. Slow moment. Okay, there's the hole over here, right there. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, so usually I would have put got to be gel around my edges before I did this, but I'm not doing that today. I'm going to do something different, and I'm going to just use the spray, and I'm going to just spray it and then let it dry, or I might blow dry it. We'll see, but yeah. So next. And if I do use the actual got to be gel, I'm going to use it afterwards, more so when I'm trying to make sure my cat, my cat, <laughs> my cat, anyway, sorry, my bad, y'all. My cap is nice and flat and like, you know, look like it's a bald cap. Okay. Y'all don't have to use that much or do that, but 
and that's how I'm gonna do it and we're just going to let this dry and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna cut it on camera so be back okay so it is dry so we're going to cut it and then I'm going to put a little gas to be Hold on, let me go to the mirror. Okay, and I'm actually going to start down here because, yeah, <laughs> easier to look in the mirror that way. Oh, dang, but I kind of lifted my side up. It's okay, though. We're going to use the gas to be. And the gas to be gas to help me. I don't know why I thought I wasn't recording for a second. I was about to be like, dang, I did all this for no reason. For no reason at all. Well, it's still been for a reason, but yeah. Okay, so now you see, well, I kind of cut it. You see these little things in the back? We're going to tie them. At least that's what I do. I don't know why. I'm pretty sure I got that from like probably social media. Mm. I don't know. The tie and a little long one. I'm gonna actually cut. Okay, so now we're going to take my little gasta bean, and for this, I'm going to use the clear one. Okay, and I'm going to just lay my cap down like fully flat. Um, do I want to cut that? I'm going to cut that a little more. Yeah, I'm going to actually cut it back. And we're going to finish making sure everything is nice and flat around my edges. I mean, not my edges. Eat. That's not my edges. Around the edge of my cap is what I meant. So then that way after this dry, and I'm not going to like do this for it to be um tacky. Like this is not what I'm about to use to hold my wig down. I'm just doing this so the little edges can be like flatter. And the makeup can just go on nice. And then don't be worried about, like, the stuff hitting your forehead. Because I'm going to get some alcohol and, like, clean it up with a little Q-tip. Before I actually put the lace glue from the little milk kit <laughs> on my hairline. Okay. Oh, I'm going to put that back there. Okay, y'all. Uh, so, you see what we working with. So, now, once again, I'm about to let this dry. You can let it air dry. You can get a blow dryer. Either or. And you want to make sure that it's dry. Like, it's dry dry to the point where, like, you know, you can touch it. It's not sticky. You don't feel anything. Like, you want... Damn. You want to make sure that it's dry dry so you can just put your makeup on and not make a mess with your makeup. Oh, and while we wait... Like, you see this? Like, what I meant when I was talking about the wig cap? The wig cap is great. Like, don't get me wrong. I need makeup, but I dang near don't need no makeup. But shout out to that wig cap. This wig cap. Okay, y'all. So, my wig cap is dried. 
and now i am about to put some makeup on it and what i'm using um you can use anything it really don't matter but what i got available right now for myself is bare mineral bare minerals bare pro and this is the chai 26 shade and it's just something oh and then i don't use it on my face no more so why not use it on here but as you can tell it was already like pretty melty looking we're gonna add this just to make it a little more melty looking so this should transition okay underneath my wig lace because i hate when i can see my cap through my wig lace like that is so irritating to me so irritating 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 is that little on my edges all some hair out right there probably dang darn it okay but anyhow and yes i know it's brown but i gotta really put the makeup up there yep that's how i'm gonna do it i'm trusting the ancestors i'm doing what they saying this is what they telling me to do <laughs> okay there we go boy he is starting to come in okay yes okay and I'm gonna leave it at this. We're gonna call it a day. Okay, did you see this little shiny little stuff right there? That little shininess? I'm actually going to um clean that. I'm gonna take that off. And then I'm gonna look and see if this is some hair. If it's some hair, I might leave it over my hair just to protect the hair against the wig glue. Oh. We gonna see, we gonna see, but yeah, let me like clean this up a little. Okay, and like for cleaning it, you got your little, what is this? Cotton swabs and alcohol. Good boy, yes, come through, boy. All right, y'all, so now comes the moment of time to test the milk kit or melt in a box <laughs> as i want to call it and hopefully this do not turn out to be a bad impulsive purchase all right y'all so i'm gonna tell y'all something a little secret well it's not really a secret <laughs> i don't care if people know but anyway um when it comes to putting on my little lace wigs or whatever i've only used what is that got to be glue and I've used Gorilla Snot. And I use spritz before I have used spritz. So, as I was saying before I was rudely interrupted by my ring light, um, I've only used Gas to Be Glue, Gorilla Snot, and Spritz when it comes to um, like you know, putting on my wig and like gluing my wig down or attaching my wig. So this is my first time actually using some real life lace glue. So we really experimenting in here, like. We experimenting for real. That's why I tried to make sure that this was given bored. <laughs> Cause yo, I do not want to make no mistakes. I can't afford, oops, and say it, don't spray it. But I cannot afford to make any mistakes. I don't know why I'm trying to like do it all the way out like that. I'm gonna go off of like what I see people do um, here and like, uh -huh, like all my little social medias. So I'm going to do, oh, you know what? Actually, I lied. I'm not going to do what I've seen people do. It was some girl, TikTok, and I can't think of her name. If I think of it, I might tag her. But um, she gave some advice, and it was like real smart advice for people who's like using lace glue or like installing who don't really know what they're doing. She said that you she said that you're doing the sections. So like she did this section first, and then she laid down 
her edges or her sides like last or whatever one side at a time and did the glue the same way and she said that like when you do one line at a time when you do one line at a time it's like it it dries or whatever and your sides don't stay down so she like if you wanted to actually like stay and stick you want to do one side at a time okay so dang wig I need, I need you to come up a little more okay there we go cool cool so i can put that right there and for you yeah where is it at in the middle okay so it's actually where the shine part is cool Cool, cool, cool. So, I'm going to do it in sections. Y'all just saw me put my wig on so I can like see where to actually put the glue at and not go in blind and be like all lost and confused when it don't fit or it turns out wrong. And I'm gonna be crying on here like, oh my gosh, how could I do this? And then, like, I got a little job interview tomorrow and I'm gonna go to the job interview looking like a hot ass mess. We don't want that. So, we're about to try this puppy out. And we're going to see. So I'm going to um do the middle first. Hold on. I want to do it on here, but I can't because like I don't want to like fuck this up. So I'm going to go in the mirror and I'll be right back. Okay, so I am back. And this is how I look right now. I am going to try to do this part on camera. Which is the spreading of the glue because I can still see the mirror and do this. Oh, can y'all see me? I'm sorry. Hold on. Let me back back. <laughs> so we just spreading the glue out so it can be like a little thin layer. Oh, this kind of drying fast as hell. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Hold on. <laughs> we gonna have to remix two cycles. Spread it. See if I can like spread it out a little. And then if it is like a little white, we gonna still like try to work with it. We gonna see. We gonna see. Okay, so. I'm gonna repeat this stuff because I do want a strong coat. Maybe I should have read the directions before my dumb ass decided to like go here and do this glue and stuff and now that i'm doing this i kind of want to just now do my whole hairline or hairline as a matter of fact i am because what am i waiting for for real i guess i mean i know what i'm waiting for but like come on it's my first time i can make mistakes and experiment you having fun this is a learning process I'm doing this so you don't have to do this. Or you can still do this and have fun. <laughs> so now we're going to like spread this. Now remember, I only got one layer right on my sides. And it's two layers at the top. So, um. I don't know. I'll see as I go. Okay. It's definitely sticky. For sure. So like. It said 30 seconds. So I guess I can put it on. But it's white. Like I'm scared because it's white. We'll see though. Okay so. It's not clear. But it's clearance, but it's not. But we gon' we gonna see, okay? We're gonna just throw this bitch on. We're gonna throw this bitch on. And call it a day. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna look over here while I do this. Can y'all still see? Let me make sure. Put y'all up a little more. Okay. Oh, I'm scared. I'm scared. Ooh, <laughs> maybe I'm not scared. Hold on, I think I like this. Okay. Okay. 
her. Dang, I need some spritz. I need some other freaking spritz, but you know what? That's okay. I'm gonna make this work without the spritz. Okay, so what they say? Don't you take your little edge comb, or you they say you take your comb? Oh, I lied. Hold on. First, I gotta make sure all my hair is just combed back. Nothing is like trying to attach. Ignore this. We're gonna clean this up and we're gonna get that straightened up in a moment. <laughs> Ignore that. Hold on. Okay, there we go. Not this way. And then this little white thing right there. I mean, messing up the glue right there. Ignore that too. Cause you know what? <laughs> that little lint tape mousse. I got a feeling they're gonna take care of me. And they should be cute. On um, both my sides, I'm going to put a little more um, lace glue. Let it dry for the 30 seconds, smush it out. or Put on the lace glue, smush it out. Let it dry for the little 20, 30 seconds. And then I'm going to make sure my little side is secure. So be right back. Give me one second. Okay, so I'll put my lace glue down. Okay. It should have been 30 seconds by now. So boom. Ooh. I'm excited. Look at this little edge over here. Okay. So, yeah, this looks really nice. And don't laugh at my comb. This is what I have at the moment. Don't judge. <laughs> now, one thing for sure. Using this like little lace glue, or whatever, and I don't know how it lasts. I'm over here like all like happy, but um, and I'll tell y'all how long it lasts. But anywho, um, one thing for sure, using like Gorilla Snot and got to be glue, my stuff never laid down like this fast. <laughs> Just after me um putting it on like that without no reinforcement. Okay, so after some deliberation, what I decided I'm going to do is uh, part my hair. And I'm not going to like necessarily style it at the moment. But I'm going to um, pick my part and do that. And then we shall go from there. And then see about the little, what is it? The moose tent. See about the moose tent and the little milk band. So, yeah, be right back. Okay, y'all. So, I really don't know how I want to wear my hair. I have no idea at all. Um, usually, when I wear this wig, I wear a side part. Like, I think my side part is what it's plugged for, right? Yeah, but I think I want to do um a middle part because I haven't had like a middle part in a while in straight hair. I always do my middle parts in my curly, so we're going to do a middle part. And see how it go. It's like I can do a middle part or I can do a side part. You know what? I'm going to actually put the part in. We're going to flat iron it. And I'm not flat iron it. I'm going to get my hot comb. And we're going we gonna to see. We're going to see. Okay, sis. Can't even, like, make a straight part in the middle of my head. So, you know what? We're going to do a side part. Yeah. Yeah. 
yeah I'm gonna do a side part because <laughs> because it's cute and then like look even though I haven't like put anything on it yet like look at it it's coming together minus like this side over here and we gonna clean that up but like let me just get the <sighs> taken care of <laughs> Okay, so I finally got my part figured out. So this is how my part is going to look. Now I'm about to take my hot comb and we gonna make sure this boy is slicker than a pimp name. Slick back, Jerry Curl, slick to the back. Don't, don't, don't talk about me. Don't even comment and call me corny, I know. Yeah. Okay, and she is on my head. And I flat ironed her. I mean, I, why do I keep saying flat iron? Because she is not flat ironed, I wish. But, um, what am I trying to say? She is hot combed. So I, I hot combed the top of it. And don't get me wrong, I have a lot more hot combing to do. This is not the end because I haven't even used the wax stick yet. But I'm just trying to show you everything as I do it. So I um, parted my hair. And I got a hot comb. And I hot combed my hair down flat how you know whatever so um i'm about to get these baby hairs going and style my hairline and after i'm done styling my hairline we're gonna put the foam on and i guess my gots to be i mean i guess yes at the right heat um we're going to use the little tinted foam and we're going to use my gots to be as a holding spray or a holding spray because it is a holding spray and we're going to try to melt it and i'm going to show y'all how everything looks in the whole process so yeah and i know you probably like what the heck is you doing i'm putting all my hair back so i can um be able to do my edges and i ain't put this back yet because this is my part so i'm gonna actually probably um pin this okay and she is rubber band Okay, so now I'm about to get a scrunchie and I'll put this on a ponytail. Okay, so these are the edges that I'm going to leave out or use or baby hairs, whatever you want to call them. Um, I'm about to get my flat iron and I'm going to curl them up. You're not going to see me actually get my flat iron and curl them up because it would require me bringing it over here. That's too much work like with the hot comb so that is gonna be off camera sorry but y'all should know how to curl some baby hairs or curl them up or i might bring it over here and give you a demonstration i don't know we'll see y'all so i am back and as you can tell my little baby hairs are curled so i never actually said the name of the company or this little melt in a box <laughs> or milk kit it's called gopal gopal hair i think i'm not sure i'm probably pronouncing it wrong but that's how you spell it and I'm about to use their edge control now. The second product that I'm using today by them. Uh-oh, the top fell off the little thingy. But um, this is what it looks like. Can you see? Probably not because of the light, but a um, little clear gel. So usually for my baby hairs, I would um actually use foam or mousse to do it. But I'm going to use their little edge control because I want to use all their products and see how I work on my wig and see if it was worth the $18.99 that I actually spent. So, yeah. So now I'm going to try to get this little cute little sideburn of mine.
putting something in the pool and trying to, like, I'm trying to comment below and tell me, like, have y'all been watching it? Is this a finish show? Like, no. You can comment your thoughts on the show. <laughs> hey. And I'm going to play with it some more. This is not going to be the final result, but that'll get me started. We're going to go to this side. This is always, like, my cute side. Wherever my party is, always come out, like, a hundred times better <laughs> than a hair that's actually hidden. And that might be why, because that hair ain't going to really be seen for real. So, it's like, mm, I don't care. Okay. I feel like that's too far over. Okay. Uh oh, no, no, no. You stay back there. You stay back there. You come over here. You come over here. And you all go back. And you all go back. And I do it like that. And I do it like that. Okay. And now we're going to do. Our little sideburns over here. Okay, really, it's kind of cute like that. I am going to smush it down. Okay, and okay. remember, y'all, I am no professional. I just get bored and do my wig because sis be trying to save a book. Okay, so that's how that's gonna look over there for right now at least. Wait a second. Something feel weird. What's that? I don't think that's just the edge of my wig. <laughs> oh, no. That was cuter. Hold on. I want it to like look smooth. There we go. Okay. That was gonna be a little more hair right there. The mousse. And then with the mousse, I'm probably gonna still end up doing exactly what I'm doing. Now. Okay, there we go. Leaving it at that. Oh, shoot. I didn't even notice that got straight. So now, um, what I'm about to do is clean this up a little. And then we're going to get to doing the actual melting part. Which is using a holding spray. Oh, wrong melting. Oh, I'm about to say a whole spray and spritz. Oh, wrong one. I'm going to use the mousse. I'm going to use the mousse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably going to still like spray a little bit of holding spray and then we'll see. Okay, be right back. Okay, uh, so now is the moment of truth. At least for me, what I'm going to consider the moment of truth. If this really going to make it look like it's melted or not, can you still see my lace? When I'm done with it, or no, will it be giving scalp? It better be giving scalp. I'm asking for a refund, and then I'm gonna send them this video like reference janky product. Boom, I'm just playing y'all. Oh, it's 
stuff so hard to freaking open. Okay, there we go. Let's see, it says improve, control, quick dyeing formula, rich natural color, stop frizz, long lasting, hold. Okay, ooh, the first ingredient is aqua. That make me scared. Oh, that's right, this glue waterproof, never mind. Never mind, directly to the lace. Can be used during or okay do not ingest okay so i'm gonna try the best that i can to do this in the actual camera but we're gonna see i might not be able to since it's fast acting i'm gonna do what i'm confident about first okay Oh, shoot, look at this. Okay, and then when I see people use it, they just get that and rub it in like so. I'm sorry. Did y'all see that? I'm so sorry. Okay, y'all. Uh, what y'all think? Is it giving scalp or wrong? <laughs> um, okay, and then after this, the sit, y'all. I ain't gonna do it no more. I'm going to just call it a day. Or actually, I just lied. After this, I am going to do it some more, but not on my edges. I'm going to actually put it in my part, if that makes sense. If that makes sense. Okay, so I'm just doing what comes to my spirit, and... That's what's coming to my spirit. <laughs> okay. And now we're going to take the band and we're going to see if this melts it. Now, just so you know, it is a um little tie thingy on here. Or not tie, but a strap on here. Like, you don't have to tie it. I'm going to tie it because I got a little head. And when I had played with that, to see how tight it was gonna be. It just didn't feel like it was gonna be like tight enough regular. So I tied the first one. This one I think I am gonna snap though. We'll just do a regular snap. Okay, so milk band is on, part is dead. So now what I'm going to do is just probably let this sit for an hour and finish watching my TV show. And then I might flat iron it. I might, I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. But give me one second and I will be back. <clears throat> okay, so I did some more flat ironing just so I can get it like more flat into my liking. So did I just say more flat ironing? Y'all know what I mean by now. Y'all been watching this video. If you made it this far, you already know what I meant. I meant hot combing. So <laughs> I already did some more hot combing just to make my top and my part more flat. Oh wait, I'm sorry. I just opened this. I didn't even show it. So now we're about to use the wax stick. It's going to be my first use of this wax stick because I'm going to definitely use it again before this video is over with. But hold on. 
this is a different type of wax stick because how the heck you freaking oh oh ooh, okay damn okay cool cool so let's say it's 24 hours it lasts or a day it's castor seed oil beeswax hydrogenated castor oil euphorbia sephoria wax perfume or perfume Okay, you know what? Let me start uh, pronouncing those like I even know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, so what I'm about to do is just do that over my hair so it can be more flat. And then I'm going to go back to my hot comb that I keep calling a flat iron. <laughs> And I'm going to hot comb it in until it melts. So I'll be right back. Okay. And like, look at how shiny, flat, smooth. You see those little flyaways is gone. So shout out to that wax stick. Worked pretty good. I want to say it worked better than the wax stick I usually use, which... I usually use, what's this, is this even? No, oh yeah, it is even. Okay, I usually use this, but I like this. I think I like this a little bit better. Okay, so um, even though I said this a million times, I'm gonna say it again. We're going to continue to let this do what it's doing and let it melt. And I'll be back in like maybe 40 minutes, give or take. <laughs> All right, y'all, and time for the moment of truth on if it's going to be melted or no. Okay, that's band number And band number two. Okay. It's not bad at all. I just got to do some cleaning to get the white off. Now this side could be better. Okay, let me play with it a little and I'll be right back. When I say play with it, I'm not about to like do anything fancy or nothing i'm literally about to just clean it up and i might cut that piece off okay it's semi giving scab just gotta clean some more to clean this to clean it Okay, so I cleaned up what I could. I tried my best at least. So, because you could still see like some of the little, um, I guess, residue or I don't know. I'm going to see if I can put makeup over that and see if I can make it blend better. But the product itself, it's not bad. I like it. I like it. And then like this lace really like isn't the best. And I'm pretty sure I didn't dye this lace. I have not dyed this lace. We doing good. So for the lace to be what it was and to be doing what it's doing. I like it. Okay, so let me put on a little bit of makeup though. I had to put my own little touch to it, but okay, and then clean that. 
and it should be perfect. Let's Let's move on. Oh. Okay, and this is the final result, y'all. And I like it. And for the lace to be what it was, and look how it looked. Because this wig always had like a white cast. It's like a light colored wig. I mean, light colored wig. Like the lace is just, ugh. Shout out to Gopel, Gopel here. Um, I'll include a link in the description box, and also I'll like put the information or like put a little boom here. Like this is what I ordered right there in the video, so y'all can see and y'all can go to it, look it up. Um, just so y'all know, heads up, it is like. A couple different packages that they offer and it's like a couple that's exactly the same as this one so i'm going to post the link to the one that i got or that i ordered specifically but this is how it turned out Y'all can tell me, is it giving scap or no? Oh my god, I'm sorry, y'all. This was like so cool. Like, I don't know. Oh, the look I want, or like I'm achieving or getting towards the look I want, but not putting in like all the work and effort effort you know <laughs> thank you for watching my video um if you have any questions comments suggestions because oh, excuse me um you know i can always take critique i always want to get better give it to me let me know and subscribe comment and share thanks bye y'all